Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Isengard campaign. So what we did on the last episode was to conquer Darthen here and then I just made a lot of uh, small pocket battles, let's say, you know, against Harad here, you know, I pushed them back a little bit and yeah, just did a few movements in terms of, you know, reinforcing and such. I now have a new army here, this army will go into Mordor just to help out, you know, if I want to conquer Morigos then Baradur before I end up the episode as well. And now my Lord Saruman, I actually, you know, like I said, I joined up a few forces here. Now Saruman actually has a good army here, uh, although it doesn't have any any cavalry whatsoever. I think I'm gonna, gonna I gotta send someone. You know, this war rider, I gotta send it over there because it's gonna it's gonna be missed. That's it. I'm gonna need this one <laughs> with Saruman, otherwise it's not gonna be easy. The good thing is that Mordor actually doesn't have any cavalry as well. So let me move uh, where to engage this army. Um, I could try to gang up on that army, but I think I'm gonna take care of this smaller one first. So let's go over here and attack, and I can't attack. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Uh, just me. It just happens to me, guys. Okay, so let's see. Should I even attack here? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine units of uh, infantry against a lot of infantry there. There's no general. There's one troll catapult. I have a lot of troll, a lot of catapults there. I have the high ground. I wonder if I should. Well, I can't attack as well. I can't attack anywhere there. Well, too bad. That's just too bad. Uh, I'm gonna have some wargs as well here, so that's fine. Now this army, I shouldn't be moving it anytime soon. I need to crush this army first and then these armies are gonna conquer Nindad, Estolad and Barad Harn. And as soon as I do so, I think the, the Harad incursions will, will stop, actually. So let's just end up the turn. Yeah, a few spies moving in, that's not a big deal. Okay, let's see what Mortar and Herod actually do. Well, if Mortar tries to counterattack, it's actually better for me. Let's see, let's hope for. Come on, Elves of Lorien. I also destroyed one one battle, one force of Mordor over here. The Elves are, tr are causing them some troubles, actually. The Mordor is not able to, to cross... Uh, easily into our lands. Whenever they cross, they actually get destroyed by, by, um, how's it called? By um, Lurtz. Yeah, Lurtz is just crushing them right now. Whoa! This guy is moving way too far. You went too far. <laughs> That's just, well, <laughs> I was remembering from, uh, um, a stand-up comedy from a guy, Pablo Francisco, or whatever he is. He makes an awesome impression of, um, how's it called, uh, Christopher, uh, what's the name? The guy who played Neo. Can't remember. Well, I'm going to have to withdraw here, just because there's a lot of troll men and a lot of units then. What is this? Mostly the spearmen and some catapults. Mostly spearmen, actually. There's no archers whatsoever. There's one unit of archers there. Well, and one unit of cavalry, actually. But this one, yeah, Numa kill. There we go. That's the biggest problem here. So I'm going to have to withdraw. Oh, I didn't withdraw too far away. I just hope Harad doesn't actually send anyone there. Okay. So far, so good. I think I'll be able to do one night attack there. And just crush whatever armies they have. Yeah, certainly. Certainly, that rethrow was just the necessary one. Gonna have to, gonna have to kill a lot of these guys. Actually, rioting in Durthang. Well, that was to be expected. They're, they're kind of messed up here. Normal tax rate, yeah, a little bit. I guess I should make a repair. Uh, just go like this. Yeah, if you repair it, it's fine. War declared, that's fine. Recruitment, that's what we want. Let me check recruitment options here. On Isengard, Derwath, 
Well, let's just close it up. I'll, I'll check it out after. Faction announcement. Some retinue expands. And turn. I'm losing some money. That, that was to be expected. Simply because I'm, you know, recruiting way too many troops. Um, what else? This guy. Well, I can't go after him. It's just going to be around here for quite a while. Well, I'm going to have to deal with him nevertheless. Let me see what happened here. So he spread out his forces, actually, which is kind of silly. It's quite silly here. Now, I think this army can actually go and take care of these small pocket armies. Then my Lord Saruman can go into Eisenmouth. Yeah, that's that's a good thing, actually. That's, that's nice. So I'm going to clear up these small armies first. Uh, let me check on this front. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, let me just uh, check around one thing. Where is the nearest castle here? It's this one. It's too far away for me to reach. And there's got to be something here as well. Mm, doesn't seem like it. So, I guess I can use these armies to beat the Harada armies. But that will be on the next episode. On this one, I'm going to make small battles against Mordor here. Come on, yeah, you can withdraw. That's not a big deal. Let's charge him up. So, we're going to have... I, I just hope that the, the the campaign map doesn't glitch here. So, I'm just going to make a few small battles. Clear up Mordor's armies here. Besiege or start besieging uh, Eisenmouth there. And maybe even go already into the... Um, into Baradur, which would make it quite easy. Okay, so let me check the terrain here. Glad. I, I think he won't be able to deploy over here. Um, I, sh I certainly hope so. Although I do have a, a, a kind of strip of land, if, that, if it comes to that. So let's just deploy on the edge and hope that he doesn't actually have any access there. Um, let me see. Can I deploy you here? Uh, let me check. I can. I can actually deploy these guys here and then try to go down there through this area instead of up from here. Uh, good question. Good question. Should I try to do that? Because then it's going to take way too long. Well, I'm just going to do a standard uh, frontal assault, let's say. Just my archers should be able to deal with them. Let's use my infantry. Yeah, basic stuff. Shift one, general here. Let's go. Yay! Much better. So, do you have fa flaming arrows? No. That's good. And you have fire. That's cool. So, my catapults may be able to deal some damage. At least my archers will actually deal a lot of damage. Yeah, catapults are going to miss a lot of hits. Yeah. Sure thing. Just hope the ballistas can actually fire in an arc. Um, okay, let's try to hit the unit farther. That's it. And my archers and crossbows will actually do a lot of damage. That's it. Cool. So I'm already on times two. There's no way. Yeah. And my fireballs are going to do some damage. Although they're quite uh, on the front. So that's sh that shouldn't be too much trouble. Let me stop you. You don't need to hit them. Oh, they're trying to move over there. Well, I'm just going to make a few shots. That's it. Can you shoot them at least? Come on. Come on, they're going to try to go over there. Really? Let me just move my archers then. Come on. I'm six. Can you do it? That's it. Now they're stopping. Good. Now, you guys, you draw their attention. That's it. You guys, you've drawn their attention. Let's move them back. That's cool. Now, infantry forces and such. Now, my catapults are actually hitting quite a lot of them. That's it. Infantry forces, just move over there. And catapults and stuff, just move here. While you're moving, you're not attacking, which is good. Okay, my bodyguard is going to go over there. 
So these units, yeah, gotta move them really back. Come on. That's it. That's it. He's gonna charge, but he's gonna meet my men as well. I'm gonna wait with these three units to destroy those orc maulers there and just... Well, they're retreating, which is kind of cool. If they are starting to retreat already, cool. Let's hit him then. Yeah, it's just way too many troops for him to handle. Uh, these guys are gonna hit them. Let's move them like this. These guys are retreating over there. Am I losing any men? So far doesn't seem like it. And they are losing a few men. Can I catch them? Don't know if I actually can. Okay, I'm losing a few men here. Which I honestly shouldn't. They're steady. Yeah, they're losing a few units. Maybe if I charge them they'll die. I'm actually charged with the archers and with the crossbowmen just to make sure that the numbers are so overwhelming that they stop it. Crossbow and such. Let's charge them up. Now he's actually retreating, so let me see here. Pikes. Let's just engage him from behind. Come on, take away the spear wall. That's not necessary. All that I need is just to surround them. Yeah, routing. Just way too many troops for him to, to handle, of course. Okay, that unit, at least, it's gonna die. That's good. What do we have here? A few crossbows who can actually start shooting. Archers and archers. Let's go. You're not gonna get anyone, so just stop it. That's it. Much better. At least you can shoot a few of them. That captain over there is gonna die over here. Are my men gonna make it? Don't know. Certainly an, a, a bad terrain here. Let's go faster, come on. Time six, it's already the fastest. Okay, they did survive with more than half their men, so they're gonna live through this battle, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to fight this one again. Well, that was kinda bad because he tried to go over to the best terrain possible and it just glitched here. You can see the amount of casualties from my my. Uh, catapults like 30 on one shot or something like that but oh well let me see are you oh they are in, they are retreating once more well he's gonna lose this for a whole unit actually that's it that's good that was a an unexpected unit death good 20 of them 12 only five or so survived good so he survived with 200 men there that's fine yeah I got some casualties healed up as well. Good. A few... Just a small battle and a, a few units uh, uh, less. This time it's going to be just a mopping up. The next episode then I will have a big fight over there against Harad. Hopefully I can get a night battle just to, you know, engage one army at a time. Especially those... The army with the Mumikil, of course. I want to use as, as much... Uh, or as less units as possible there. Okay. This guy is a general. It has a troll catapult. A few troll catapults there. These are Olog High. Let's go and engage here. Good. So this guy has one troll catapult. And this guy has another one. So these... These... Um, these ones will be a little bit more complicated now. But still. Still. Just mopping up here. Then I'll have this army, you know, I'm going to reinforce it as well. And head to to Baradur and head with Saruman over to Eisenmouth in the Black Gate. I guess that's going to be cool. Okay. Ballistas and catapults. I've been positioning them on the front. And I think on this one is actually a good thing as well. Let's fire at will. Uh, or not, actually. You are certainly going to attack as well. Let's position them here. That's good. Now the infantry, it's something different. I want these guys in the middle. That's cool. And they are going to heavily protect my catapults. I'm just going to move them forward as soon as it is required. As soon as the battle mo uh, starts, just move them forward. That's it. Running. Now, catapults. 
start shooting, start shooting, start and start shooting. That's it. Let's hit the catapults, then we're gonna have to deal with the other guys. But if I hit the catapults, then it's fine. Archers, can you just move into a better position where you can actually hit them? I guess so. I guess I can move my archers forward, like this, and move my uh, men a little bit more. That's it. Fast forward until they are in position. That's it. How is the... How are the catapults? They're still alive, actually. I've missed all of them. Damn ballistas. They're missing everything. He's just trying to deploy on the, on that spot, which is so, so bad. Oh, actually, I got one. Good. Actually got one. And these trolls are so dumb, they're still pushing it. At least these ones are not that dumb. Okay, so he's trying to move over there, which means that I can actually redeploy my men. Okay, archers, they're gonna start shooting, which means something like this would be best. And the infantry as well, something like this would be better. Let's move you on fast forward. Move into position, that's it. So how is the catapult? So how are the catapults? They are no more. So he's gonna start attacking me actually. And my archers are now in position. A few of them actually. So this guy is gonna start shooting. That's good. The maulers and raiders are not gonna do anything. It's the catapults which I'm worried about actually. Um, they're still quite far away there. The, these catapults can actually move quite, quite fast. But they're still under attack here. I think at least two to three of them are gonna die before they actually hit me, which is good. You know, you never want trolls fighting you. One, hit a few of them, will you? That's it, ballistas and catapults starting to, to shoot. I just hope they don't shoot each other, actually. Sometimes it has happened, unfortunately. Yeah. So far, so good. These Uruks and Uruk Halberds and Maulers, they're not gonna manage here. Not against these units. Now he's gonna start charging with the troll catapults. Or the trolls actually. Whoa, what happened here? I just hit a few of my men actually with the catapults. Damn it. Okay, let's see. You're gonna stop actually because there's no way you can hit the, the trolls anymore. So I'm just gonna de deploy you like this. Since they don't have any out of fire, they're just gonna move. Forward. Come on, really? Look at this. They they always miss everything uh, from the the enemy, and they hit my own units. Really hate this, actually. You know, it's just catapults. They are good, but they are not that good. You know, not anymore. Let's attack the troll catapults there at least. They're good against their own siege weapons. I guess that's a good use for them. You know, it's not that the troll catapults are actually good trolls. They're gonna die, nevertheless. Now these units, I'm gonna deploy them here. That's it. They're gonna manage pretty well. Now Urukai archers, you should attack there. Should attack over there as well. That's it. Now Urukai archers here. That's it. These raiders are fine. The trolls are dying, which is pretty good. No, reavers. Reavers do a lot of damage to trolls, actually. So over here, the berserkers are doing some damage. That's cool. I think I'm going to move my berserkers to their backs. Oh, come on. Really? They're trying to hit my... They barely missed my general here. Come on, just start killing this. Will you? Please shoot the damn... That's it. At least one last shot. Two last shots. Ugh. Come on. Come on. They're not that difficult to hit. I guess they are, actually. So over here, it paid off. These berserkers. That's good. The Uruk Reavers are attacking the Moran and God here. The Orc Maulers are gonna die against my infantry and such. Halberds are dead almost. That's good. Uruk's here and Maulers. That's fine. Oh, don't hit anyone. Almost. Hit a few catapults. But didn't destroy any. Okay, these guys are gonna die soon. 
Now orc volors, you can go over there. Pikeman, you're gonna hang on because you're gonna be the target from those trolls as soon as they start attacking. You, sir, take the raiders. Attack them as well. Halberds? No, let's attack these guys. Let's attack those. Let's see. Okay, Berserkers, you can start attacking whatever. Where are they? Yeah, there's no way I don't have anything that will pursue effectively, actually. So, I'm just gonna have these guys come forward. Well, attack the bodyguard. That's a good thing. It's actually a good thing. That's what I'm gonna attack. And just messing with these reavers. Are they managing to kill them? Yeah, they're managing. So, I'm just gonna send my reavers here. I guess that's fine. In the Urukai infantry? No. Retreat them. I'm not gonna get a lot of kills here if I start uh, sending them away. Let's try to kill their bodyguard and that's about it. Yeah, these troll catapults. Come on. Oh, really? You just hit my own man instead of hitting the damn trolls. And let's just try hit him. You guys stop your fire. Raiders, just move over there. Reavers, just move over here. What is going on here? Move it. There's one troll catapult there. Yeah, I guess I guess they're gonna manage. What is this? Kill them. Come on, kill the troll catapult there. My archers are doing what they can. I guess I can just deploy my archers once more. And fast forward a little bit. And now they're gonna start picking off the targets that they can. So there's no more trolls here, it appears. Yeah, nothing else. I'm gonna send my bodyguard here. So the troll catapults have five. These orc maulers are not gonna live too much. Yeah, troll catapults only three. That's good. That's it. I want him to, you know, gather up some courage and charge once more against me. That way he's gonna suffer a little bit more casualties with these archers, as you can see here. Good few more casualties. The archers are are very good when you do something like this. Good. We got him. Well, it's only the captain. The other one I didn't... I failed, actually. I didn't got him. As soon as this troll catapult is dead, I guess it will be fine. And my archers are still hitting quite a lot of targets there. Yeah. I guess I can speed it up for now. Yeah. Let's go. Time six. Come on. Good. Now slay this troll catapult, will you? Can you can you stop running? Good. No, stop your fire. Okay. Let's continue the battle. I guess he died actually. Good. He died. That's cool. Can I even catch some of these guys? I can't. There's no way. No cavalry here. Exit the battle. Killed a lot of them. Especially the the best the most important thing is actually the, the troll catapults that we got. Oh well, I guess it's not always a, an epic victory or an epic defeat, but this one was um, kind of interesting. You know, having to, to deal with the troll catapults is not really that that good, especially when my own catapults are just so messy. And that's not the football player. Okay. I'm gonna attack this small army and this gentleman, my gentleman Saruman, Lord Saruman. I think I can actually go with Saruman into Baradur and use this guy to go into Eisenhoth. Well, no, this time, if I do this, I'm just already besieging. I don't know if I'm gonna assault it, so I'm just gonna build up some, some siege equipment. Not sure. Nah, doesn't seem like it. I would get way too many many deaths for the for the effectiveness actually so you do have one war rider which i can gather up here now should i send this army down or forward i think this guy can actually go around and go into the black gate i guess that's going to be a good idea actually and then i'm going to have this small battle um by myself uh, without showing you and on the next episode, we will actually try to attack here. Yeah. 
this is not a full army, it's a difficult army. And this one is also a good army to attack. And I think if I get her up with a night attack or something, can can someone someone here make a night attack? You cannot, you're not a knight. You're a knight fighter, good! So I will be able to snipe these two armies, then take care of all those small pocket ones, and after that is done, I'm gonna have to go and conquer Baratharn and Ninda Destolat just to make sure there are no more issues here. Let me put a spy here well, where he can spot everyone on the hills. That's it. That's good. What else is over here? Are there any any good epic armies? Yeah, if I could reach Gobel and Kalimon, I would uh, completely crush them actually. So lots of small movements, that's what I'm going to do, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!